Hi, back from Cambodia, had this with me, GFX 100S, 50mm lens. The combination, portable, amazing what I was able to achieve. This video is all about that. Here's a sample of the resolution of an image which we shot there. Okay, this video is all about the GF 50mm lens. It's the cheapest lens on, when I say cheapest, the least expensive is probably a better word, because it's over $1,000, but somewhere around there, in the line of things. It's a 3.5F uh, lens, but what is important about this is the weight. On this camera, the GFX 100S, with this together, it's just, just a package which you can just easily carry, put in your backpack, hand, shoulder, underneath the arm, easily to shoot with. So now you're limited with a 50 millimeter lens. Well, not really, because we're gonna use the DUS principle. The DUS is a name I coined, it kind of actually stands for dual axis shifting. With that, we can expand the, uh, the range of uh, the coverage of this lens tremendously, from panoramas to everything. Let me show you how well we've done. So let's start off with, first of all, just a straightforward 50 millimeter shots. These are just 50 millimeter standard out of the camera, but look at that, I mean, the quality of, of, of this, is, yeah, it's, it's impressive, this for a, a portrait lens, the 50 millimeter, you wouldn't think that, but look at that. Okay, so here you are, people doing selfies all over in the world, even in Cambodia. All right, river, stuff like that. This little girl left to come over and show off what she could do all day to me. So, those are just 35 millimeter pictures. Now let's take a look at another range of things. We're gonna now look at uh, what it can do in the, in the, in the terms of close-up. So I'm going to take a few close-ups here, which I had. Look at those. Okay, start with my favorite, first of all. This is the end of the pandemic, far as I'm concerned, or hoping it is at least, and we don't have a revival. Face masks are already being tossed in the ground in Cambodia, driven over, nobody cares anymore, it's great. May the rest of the world come to its senses and do the same. Okay, close-ups. Here's another close-up. Uh, look, you, you really start feeling bad about this poor mermaid. Look at her eyes and things with her. Washed up on the beach. Simple. With this lens, a rock. You think, why would we shoot a rock? Look at the colors, the shape of this rock. It's amazing. It's lovely. Anyway, those are close-ups. Now, let's start talking about the dust so what we can do. So, let's take something which would be typical. I'm going to go to the town of uh, Kampot and I'm going to take the town, town square picture. Here we are. This is called the Durian Square for reasons which are quite obvious. This is a Durian, and look at the sharpness of that Durian. It's very impressive. Now let's look at all these bikes, the traffic, all these bikes, nothing's overlapping, everything is, and I'm saying this for a reason, because we're stitching these together with the dust principle. All right. Look over here, the same thing applies. Now, let's have a look at the original pictures we took to them. We didn't take that many, but enough to say that these were, these are all the pictures it took. Stitching all of these together with all the OLAPs, we end up still with a picture like I just showed you, uh, which doesn't have any talking about. Let's, let's take it to the next level. Overlapping, I'm gonna take you to the beach of uh, Kep. It's New Year's, New Year's Day, all the locals are out. Here we have them all standing around there. We've stitched this picture together from, uh, we'll see in a minute how many, but the important thing is that with all these pictures together, th look at the people, there's no overlapping, they're all there. I mean, this girl, has little foot sticking out of the water. Everything is there, all the way to way back here. When I'm talking about back there, you know, let's zoom out. We can't even see them out there. So this is what's happened. See, how many pictures did it take to make this? All right, uh, let's start with this one here and then go all the way to the beginning of that, to here, hit N, and there they are all. All right, how many is that? That is 34 pictures. 34 pictures were taken, all of these, to make this one picture. But look at the coverage you get, that's with a 50 millimeter, 
when you stitch them together, look at the coverage you get with that. That's pretty amazing. Uh, all right, so that's the <laughs> actually uh, here just to show you. This is uh, the picture here with a sky I dropped in, and this is the original sky. So you can play with that too. If you can do things like that. Okay, so let's go to night. Let's do something at night with a dust. See what we can come up with here. All right, um, a good one here for the night is uh, Phnom Pen. All right. Here we got, uh, gee, let's go to this, open this up. This is the statue. I'm going to zoom in on that. And you see the little fellow here? Well, there he is again over here. And it's because we stitched this together from a whole bunch of images. Uh, let's see what we stitched it together from. Uh, here we are. All of these. Wow. Wow. Look how many they are here. All right. Here we are. Now, Look at the coverage of what we get with one picture. And now, look at the coverage which we get with all of them. They're pretty amazing. Okay, let's leave that and then go for, uh, let's say, a sunset picture, which I liked, on the river and the town close to Kep. Uh, where is it? An evening shot here. This is shot at ISO 1250. The other one was much higher. But let's look at that. Look at the people on the beach. Look at you. You can see them breathing smoke out of it. Uh, Lightroom has to catch up here a little bit. But this is what we get. So what did we shoot this with? We shot this with all of these pictures. Look at them here. Let's find them. OK, here. And we go all the way to here. This is it. Look at that. These are 41 pictures were taken to make this one picture. With all those exposures, we still end up with this picture. That lens, this is what makes this lens feasible to carry around because you can do all of these things. You saw the lung panoramic, you saw these, the night ones. Uh, uh, you've got, we've got ones on the beach, uh, uh, temple, let's go to a temple, inside the temple. That's what we saw earlier. This is what it is, this is what it's zoomed in at, but it's pretty amazing. Okay, and that was taken again with uh, some 20 pictures. Uh, I have another one here with, um, which we'll just take on the, on the beach of uh, this island called Rabbit's Island, believe it or not. Rabbit's Island, and here we stitched this whole thing together from all of these images here. And again, when I do that, let me just hit this to make sure that it comes through. On that, here we are, zoom, bang, in. This is the coverage you get using one picture. Leaving that and going now to this, this is the picture which we end up with. Isn't that pretty amazing? And so on and so on. You can go to my website under travel. Uh, you will find Cambodia and all the pictures are there. I'll also leave a link up on, on, on the YouTube thing uh, so that you can see what we're doing. But the end of the day is what it's amazing what you can do with this lens. So that's it. I can show you more, but I think you got the picture by now. Pun intended. Goodbye.